flex box is defined by display flex and grid is defined by display grid i created a simple html and css file inside html's body tag i created four divs inside main tag inside style.css i created a box class then applied it to every div then learn flexbox class where we will apply all flexbox properties display flex is used to create flexbox then applied this class to main inside html as you can see in your browser all items are rendered in a row for grid also i have created html and css file inside main i have created four divs and a class box is applied to every div inside learn grid class display grid properties applied then i applied this class to parent main flex has a default traction of row you can change it to row reverse flex traction can also be in column or it can be in column reverse as you can see in the browser items are reversed for grid default direction is always in column gap between rows can be set with row gap property to show you how these boxes are rendered inside flexbox i have created a border for the body inside html i have given a height of 90 vh and the width of 90 vw now change flex direction to row now as the flex direction is in row we can provide the gaps between columns with the column gap property justify content defines the alignment of flexbox items center will align the items inside the center of flexbox flex start to line the items at the start of flex flex end to line at end space between to provide a space between the items in space around space at the ends is also applied in space evenly equal space is applied now apply border for whole flex box give a height of 100% now remove border from body and apply padding of 1 rem and margin of 0 also inside css apply border of 1 px and height of 100% now change justify content to center now to align the items along y axis align items property is used flex box items are at the center on y axis and also at the center on x axis to align at the start of flex use flex start to align at end use flex end there is another option called stretch which will stretch the items they are not stretched because i have provided fixed height and width if i comment out this height and width items are now stretched again uncomment height and width for box one thing to remember specifically for flex traction column is that justify content will align the items in y axis instead of x axis as in the case of flex traction row in the same way align items align the items in x axis now coming back to grid i have used the same classes as i've used in the flex box in css you can either use display grid or inline grid for this example i will be using grid grid template columns property will divide the items in columns i have used auto two times so it has created two columns now as auto is defined four times four columns are created inside box class comment height and width and use border property to see how grid is working fr css unit can be used to divide columns and rows inside the grid one fr is used two times so two columns of equal width are created same as auto writing one fr four times will create four columns for first column i have used two fr so its width will be two times of other columns it is now changed to five fr so its width will be five times of other columns you can also use min max to provide a minimum and maximum range for a specific column so now maximum width of first column can be 5r and the minimum is 100px repeat can be used to repeat a specific cs unit to a specific number of time so here one fr is repeated four times so four columns of width one fr are created even different css units for different columns can be used to divide grid into rows grid template rows property is used here also i have used 5fr for first row so first row will take five times the space of other rows now define columns of equal width create four more divs with class box inside grid now four grid columns of equal width are created and two rows of equal height are created i increased height of first row by two times and also increased width of first column by two times actually it can be proved to make it easy to follow inside grid create four divs named header sidebar main and footer apply box class to each also create a class for each div and provide a background color to them provide a name for grid area property for each class grid template areas is used to define space inside grid using grid area names first define four headers at top then a sidebar on the left for a single area then a main for three areas repeat footer four times at bottom in this way we can easily do partition of different areas of our website using grid template areas we have defined three rows and four columns header span top row and all four columns in second row sidebar spans one column on the left and main spans three columns on the right on third row footer is spanning all four columns now grid template columns is used to define width for each column and grid template rows now can be used to define height for each row for fr is used for second row for sidebar and main so its height will be four times of other rows now comment height width and padding in the body and use vh css unity inside grid template rows now as you can see our simple website is spanned to whole page this website will render perfectly for different heights and different widths column gap property can be used to define gaps between grid columns in the same way row gap will define gap between rows if single value is used it will be for both rows and columns if two values are used first is for row gap and second is for column gap now coming back to flexbox add four more divs with class 
glass box. Currently, they are getting out of the box. To fix it, flex wrap property can be used. This will wrap flex items according to available space. No wrap will again unwrap these items. Wrap reverse will wrap the items in reverse. Row gap will add gaps inside rows, and column gap will add gaps inside columns. Flexbox also has a shorthand property gap to define row and column gaps. If single value is used, both column and row gaps are applied. If two values are provided, first will be for row gap and second will be for column gap. In Flexbox, let's try to achieve the same thing we have done in grid. Now inside Flexbox, create four divs named header, sidebar, main and footer. Also create a class name for each of them with the background color of their own. Command CSS properties inside learn Flexbox class. Wrap sidebar and main inside a div having class container. Provide display flex in container class. Give a width 100% to main class. Then you can provide some height to sidebar or main. I have tried to make a simple website structure with the Flexbox but it was not very efficient. Now we will cover the properties for children. Flex grow property defines the ability for a flex item to grow if necessary. And flex shrink defines the ability of a flex item to shrink if necessary. With align self you can align a specific flex item. Use justify items to align each item. You can use start, stretch the items, 